Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing. Welcome and thank you so very much for joining me. Today I'm taking you to Bend, Oregon. And this is a lovely store that I think opened not long before COVID. So it really hasn't done a lot of retail. They do lots of online. So if you're into online shopping or you see something, I bet you can get a hold of it. This store had more brands that I didn't know. Like I wasn't familiar with Decoupage Queen. And I'm going to show you a couple other paper lines that I don't recall seeing. And more Stamperia than I've ever seen in one place. These are collage sheets. So there's a bunch of them in the package. And you just pull out and pay for one individual one. There were so many good ones. I was overwhelmed. I was in a big hurry, but I managed to fit in a video and get my purchases made too. Stamping Bella, I know many of you are fans and we've heard of those before. Some really, really cute ones. And if you color, those would just color up adorably. Absolutely. This place is called the Rubber Buggy. Like I said, Bend, Oregon. There is Echo Park in this store and a lot of the normal stuff you would expect to see. I did not film the whole store. So if you're trying to put together an online order or you're in town and you think maybe they don't have something, no, they have it. I just didn't film it. Look at all this Graphic 45. I was very mature, very reasonable. I just filmed it and moved on. In the stencils, they had a lot of brands that I was familiar with, but I didn't know. See the Donna Downey in the upper left? I didn't know those. There's a lot of Dina Wakely, familiar with those. And then the bottom right, in those blue packages, there were quite a few stencils I just didn't know. And I just loved that they had so many brands. And I, of course, you know me, was checking where things were made. And I wasn't seeing a lot of China. I was seeing a lot of different countries. Look at this Blue Fern Studio selection. Before I was in this store making this video, I didn't even realize that Blue Fern had multiple ephemera packs for every collection that they have. I guess I really haven't looked online. You know me, I like to go and look in stores. Look at all this paper. I'm not going to go through all these racks one by one. I just can't. I just wanted you to see the amount of selection that they have and the different collections. This Fairy Whispers has a lot of purple. It's really nice, but I do like the Garden Collection also. Really, really nice ones. Gorgeous stuff. And then we're going to check out some more ephemera. So this is Lucky Star Ephemera, Blue Fern Studios, and it has a lot of blue and some purple accents. So, you know, that one caught my eye. Compositions is musical instruments and music related, and the garden one was nice, Glory of the Garden. And then look, they have hardware right there. I didn't know Blue Fern Studio did that. I'm going to say that a lot in this video. I didn't know that existed. Photo Play, Main Street Parade. I took a good look at it, but I did not take it off the shelf. Be proud, be proud. I have so much red, white, and blue, and I just feel like I need it all. This brand is called Lemon Craft, and it's from Poland. Are you familiar with this? Have you seen it? There's a lot of it in this store, so I'm going to show you a whole bunch of it and different lines. Look at these. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them, but they were so cute. A lot of different color palettes, really pastel-y, soft stuff. For those of you who like a lot of girly, really, really nice. So Raspberry Garden with some pink and touches of yellow. And then there's one down there in the corner we had to check out because it's blue. I believe it's called Serenity, really neat. And that happy anniversary with the burgundies and pinks and blue. Then look at all this, it's all Lemoncraft. Loose sheets, big pads, tons of it. I'm just, this was new to me. I don't remember. Maybe you guys are going to say, oh yeah, I saw that somewhere. I don't know. Then Chow Bella. Did we know that they made stamps? I think that was new to me. I really like that wood one. Now I wish I would have grabbed it, but I didn't think about it. You know, I was just making videos, but I like that tree trunk looking end stamp. That's a neat one. 
And then these look like big collage papers that go down with their collections or go with their collections, which are down below on the shelf. I'll show you those in a minute. See, Chow Bella stamps. Those butterflies are kind of neat, aren't they? It doesn't say that the stamps are actually made in Italy, but I believe their products are manufactured in Italy. I'm pretty sure it says on their paper made in Italy. A lot of different collections. I mean, this is a big rack dedicated to this product. It's really cool. Feathers and roses and snowmen and lemons and kind of like a grunge, almost like a Tim look. A lot of neat stuff on there. Some of their racks are empty. Like when I'm going past empty racks, it's because they were redoing and organizing some things. It's not that they're running out of product. The selection in here is amazing. I looked at these tags and I thought about it, but I really only wanted that bottom row, you know, the blue butterfly. <laughs> and I didn't really want the other ones. The back was cute though, too, with the purple floral. I liked that. And then if you know me, you know where we're going next because it caught my eye. Yeah, we have to look at that blue paper. What's going on there? So this is Chow Bella and the line is Cecilia. I don't have any of this, I don't think. Look at that, yellow roses. That is just awesome. I, I don't really know why so much stuff has lemons in it. I'm not into lemons, but you know, if you put it with blue, 2019 so it's not like it's a brand new paper line but i don't recall having any of it but chow bella is also sort of a newer brand for us we're a little behind right so you can see they have one there called hipster then there's some more paper that goes with this one with the lemons i didn't like the cactus and the fish i wasn't really into that at all <laughs> now I didn't purchase this piece of paper, but I really liked the clocks. I just wasn't exactly sure what I was going to do with them. Okay, there's Hipster. It's a little more masculine, a paper line that you could use to uh, make cards or some kind of scrapbook for males or just in general. You know, sometimes you just get too floral. Look at all these. So this is all still Chow Bella. And this one's a neat line too. It's called Delta. It's very natural looking. It might make a really neat book for a young boy, you know, fishing and what have you. Look at all this authentique. I didn't even look, just wanted you to see it. Tattered Lace. It's not a brand that I'm real familiar with, but I know it's been around a while. Look at this wall. This is Tim and Sizzix and Ranger products as we go down further. A lot of neat stuff. All the tapes that you could pretty much want in one place, I think. A lot of the ephemera, you know, his vintage pieces, some of his holiday stuff. I know you Tim lovers are like, what? It's a lot. Cardstock, if you just wanted to make cards or needed something for a page, you've got it. Look at that wall. It was really well stocked, really well stocked. I had a great time and I was in a big hurry. like. I was almost hoping this store wouldn't be good because I didn't have a lot of time. Look at those little matchboxes with the ephemera pieces in them. That's cute. See, there's some Christmas stuff, a bunch of his paper dolls, the words in his sticker packs, you know. There were collage papers of his. If you're like me, you have a lot of that stuff, but sometimes you want a refill of something. Look at it all. Good stuff really fun stuff lots and lots to look at i really tried to shop fast and look at a lot of stuff but there there was a lot i probably filmed i'd say half the store for you maybe less i i tried to do a good job and i also tried to cut out the part where i spin around between racks i didn't know about these distress embossing glass so is it just embossing powder i don't know but look at that blue why don't i own that probably need it probably need to make something with it and i didn't check their inventory of colors or anything like that because i just wanted to see the store and the products and you know i love the printed papers so other people may go into the store and look more at stencils or they may 
leave with armfuls of distress oxides, whatever it is that speaks to you. There's a bunch of archival inks up there on the wall too, in colors I didn't have, didn't even notice them when I was there. That always happens to me when I make the video. Now look at these. Have you seen these before? Iron Orchid Designs. They are transfer sheets, 12 inches by 16 inches. In this corner where we're looking right now, there was a lot of stuff that you could use for giant journals or home decor type things, products that I'm not familiar with. These stamps, oh my gosh, when I was editing this video and putting all the footage together, why didn't I buy these stamps? I don't know. I didn't even look at them. It didn't even process. So these are giant stamps. They'd be great for journals. Of course, they'd be great if you were going to do like a painted wall in your home or something like that. But I like the birds. This one right here with the birds and the flowers. Yeah, I really like that. That'd be a pretty killer journal page, wouldn't it? I noted the size of them and that they were interesting. What you need to keep in mind is in this video, I was filming and chatting. So very often I wasn't watching what the camera was looking at because I was talking to the store owner and having a great time. Go back if that's important to you. Those were molds because I'm going to show you some cool products to make your uh, items look aged or colored at the end of this video. Then here it's more like home decor type stuff, bigger stamps, great for journals, all kinds of stuff. Sometimes we get images that we like, but they're not the right scale for the project. This is a whole rack of Penny Black. Well, I guess the whole rack isn't. The right side is, and then we're going to look at Avriel on the left side. There you go. Lots of good stuff. Look at those butterflies. I didn't bring them. I didn't bring them home. I don't need every butterfly known to man, do I? Maybe. I'm going to Kansas City and hoping to make a video at, I think it's called KC Scraps. It's a reuse it place. I tried to get the embossing folders, but it didn't work on camera, obviously. Sorry about that. But they do have them. Bunch of six by six pads for basic color if you needed it. This section, I should have put the camera down and done more buying and less filming. This is Simple Stories, and up here we're looking at the fall stuff. I have a lot of fall. See, I'm talking. <laughs> I'm just, I'm probably not even watching what the camera is looking at. Then it gets into those collections that I like. See, I'm studying these stickers because I haven't seen them before. The Simple Vintage line. It seems to me like there are a bunch of different collections that have similar color palettes that Simple Stories is doing so you could mix and match them. But I think what's happening to me is I'm looking at them in the store and thinking I already have it. That sticker sheet, I probably should have bought that sticker sheet, but I didn't. It's called Simple Vintage Great Escape. I don't have that, but I think I see Simple Vintage and get sidetracked. Then look at these. These are decorative chips. You could paint these and put them on a journal or a card. You could also use them as stencils. This is Stamperia Gone Crazy. So watch just for like the next couple minutes, all you're gonna see is Stamperia. Stamperia papers and ephemera, and it is amazing. Okay, hold that thought. When I go around a different rack, you're gonna see it. But look at these first. This is a brand that I didn't know either, and they are die cut chipboard. Same idea. Stamperia has some on the other that we just went past that you could do this with, but you can paint them, you can heat emboss them. These came from Poland. You could ink them, paint them, whatever you want to do, scrapbook pages, cards. You can use them as a stencil. Dress My Craft, that's not a brand that you see a lot in stores either. This is the same rack, just a stutter in the co camera. Look at that. That's a really cool one. Amazing stuff. Those tags are neat. Just barely saw them. Didn't see them when I was in the store. Didn't notice them. Okay, now we're going to go around the other side. This end cap is all Stamperia. And then look at this. It just keeps going. The selection, wow. So these are all their collections. 
I haven't seen this much in one place. I don't think ever. Probably not even at Expo <laughs> when there was such a thing. Sleeping Beauty and Alice in Wonderland. And here we're looking at the collage papers that go with the collections. So I didn't check all of the collage papers in the store and think about which ones had my favorite colors. I think I just grabbed one out of the one by the door and then got sidetracked. They carry the different sizes too. So if you're not a 12 by 12 fan, you have the smaller ones and you can just find the one that has the colors or the mood or the theme that you're looking for. There's the background papers that go with it. I wasn't familiar with these. This row right here, these really didn't look familiar to me. Blue Land, of course I've seen. <laughs> that one I knew about. That calligraphy one would be great for vintage scrapbooks or vintage journals, anything like that. Touch of Purple in that one, then Grand Hotel. Look at all those ephemera packs. Tons and tons. I don't know what I would do with Flower Alphabet. I haven't really looked at that one or studied it. There's a lot of animals in Cosmos. Clockwise is really, oh my gosh, when you make a video you can't remember words, but you know what I mean. It has like gears and stuff. Look at all these. So there's another music collection that would be kind of neat, like with that blue fern ephemera, if any of the colors are the same, or you could use that ephemera. Sometimes it's nice to use different brands and mix and match. You get even more ephemera or even more paper. If the theme works, like they're both music, maybe the colors work. I hadn't seen that pet one at all. That one that has a dog on it, that was new to me. Look at these. All sorts of add-on products. Did you know that Stamparia makes stamps? Again, I don't think I knew that so many journaling cards and just neat stuff. I couldn't believe it. I was in awe of it. Look at it. It just keeps going. Stencils. Did you know there were stencils to go with the collections? I did not. I've seen the ephemera pack before. She carries those out in Long Beach, Washington in the store that I've showed you there. A lot of lawn fawn. I just showed you the lawn fawn real quick so you would know it was there, but I didn't go through it really carefully. Then some more Stamperia, some mixed media stamps, just on an end cap right around the corner that I had missed. More of those die cuts, like chipboard kind of thing. Prima, we're getting into Prima. I don't know this collection, but it's pretty neat. It's like a great collection for fall, Arizona, that type of thing. Anywhere high desert, it's called Golden Desert. It has just really warm colors and cactus kind of things. I'm a Pacific Northwest girl, so that's not really my thing, but it is a lovely collection that I hadn't seen before. Then this is their clearance. I didn't spend too long on this because it's just not that relevant for you, right? Here we're into another section. This brand is called Crafto Clock. And again, never seen it. I like how they have their color swatches on the ends right there. I mean, if I found one that had all the blues, that would be perfect. Plum and chocolate. And it is, I think this one's Poland too. I can't remember. I didn't see it. And again, this store stocked so much of it. And Bend, Oregon is far from Portland. Right now, because of the wildfires, it's about three hours from Salem because they have a lane closed. So they're logging the road. So it's tricky to get back and forth. If you're going to Crater Lake, this might work out for you. Or if you are doing, I don't know, maybe just a giant road trip through our state. There's some camping stuff. I just want to show you, they do have a variety of products for everyone. And you know, I like Echo Park. So have to take a look at that. Lots of Memory Box. Memory Box is a Pacific Northwest company, so I do like to see them supported. They do dyes. I don't know, maybe these are all dyes. Lots of stuff. I'm just trying to get through it and show you. So here we are. We are looking at the 
craft a clock, more of it, time of reflection, totally different color palette. But these are really artsy companies. They are, they'd be great for journaling. They would be great. They're almost more like um, mixed media type papers. You know, that one's really cute. And that's craft a clock. All this stuff is. But a lot of them are more mixed media style. So you don't have to make the mess. You can just use the papers and very detailed and elegant. And I like that they have accessories that go with it in this store. They have the chipboard or they have cut aparts for it. A lot of the European companies are about fussy cutting your own stuff. I, I don't think that's for me so much. I liked the words too. And of course they had them in the vintage color palette and in the white, that was good. Uh, we might have already looked at this. Oh, this is the crafting collection from Echo Park. I like that one. I had to hurry up, you guys. This was taking too long. Look at this. How did I not buy this? Denim and Friends. Scrapbooking from Sweden. Didn't even notice it. I was talking. I was talking and making a video. Look at this one, Andrea. Green and purple. The brand is Maya Designs. M-A-J-A. It is just amazing. Not familiar with these at all. Haven't seen them stocked anywhere. And you know I love 6x6 paper, so I was really excited with those. These are 12x12, 12 12, some loose, some in the packs. And then I just wanted to scan this shelf a little bit to show you what else, the other stuff they have, just so you have an idea and you know that if you're near there, it's worth it. Right now, they're only open 10 to 2 because they're having trouble getting staff. So be sure you call ahead to check their hours when you're in town. And if you need a part-time job, there you go. There's score tape and rulers. Ooh, I didn't even look at the rulers. And you know, I like those decal edge ones. This product I wanted to show you just because I've never seen it. It's an imported product, but she said it's water-based. So they're able to keep it stocked right now because some people are having troubles. Look at how vintage these pieces look and also the variety of finishes on them. And they were made in molds. So when I showed you earlier in the video that they had a rack full of molds, it's right off to the left of this. Here's what I picked up. Here's all the contact information for the store, the rubber buggy in Bend, Oregon. And there's the email. Oh, I'm sorry, there's no phone number. I bet you can just look it up and give them a call. I bet Google has it. One thing that's a little odd that I didn't mention in the video is a lot of stuff isn't priced in the store. They set up right before COVID, don't have it really set up for a retail store. So if you're very price sensitive, you'll want to take something up and ask or, you know, she mentioned at one time they had tags sitting out, but a lot of the stuff I picked up doesn't have prices on it. And then interestingly, my receipt doesn't say what was what. So I can't tell you how much this stuff cost. All I can tell you is as a total, I spent $24.34. Remember here in Oregon, we don't have tax. All the more reason to come shop with us. I picked up these two items off the clearance. I don't know if that worked out well for me. I'm not really sure but I think they're cute. They're a kind of puffy and they have life is beautiful and some postage looking things and believe blue butterfly, stars, more birds. I think I'm gonna put this in some of my journal making stuff. Then let's look and see. There's no rhyme or reason to what I purchased. I didn't buy one collection. I just bought pretty things. That was the category which I think is okay, right? So this is Blue Fern Studio, and Blue Fern is made in the US. I don't know exactly where. I haven't researched them a lot. My friend Andrea was the one that told me about their papers and stuff at first, and I do have a stamp of theirs that I really like. They just have nice style, really nice style. The ephemera, I believe this is the first pack I've ever purchased. I'm noticing that it doesn't have those white edges around it that make me crazy on some ephemera. I would recommend it, especially since the edges are blue. Oh my gosh, look at that. That could be my own bias. And 
on the package, it shows you what the edges. Some are blue, some aren't. So I like that there aren't any surprises. I just didn't look carefully. The earth laughs and flowers through the garden gate. Loves the flower you've got to let grow. Fun stuff. So that's the ephemera pack that I picked up. And I just thought, eh, pretty stuff. I want that. Then I picked up two things of craft o'clock and i didn't show these in the video because it was running so long and i thought well there's no point in making you look in the store through the packaging when i can just show you in person so this brand craft o'clock is one of the brands from poland and they do their product lines the same for all of them so they will have journaling cards for each one of their collections. Oh my gosh, these are scrumptious. Then they will have the chipboard that we'll look at next. Okay, I love them. Absolutely. Just that touch of navy and teal. That's great for me. Oh, look at that. Kind of made that better myself. Even with all my new blue inks. Then this one is chipboard. Chipboard, sometimes I don't use it as much as I should. The thickness on cards or journals, I would typically prefer flatter things, but these were just cute. And I don't know if there was an ephemera pack that I should have picked up maybe instead, but blue and blue butterflies and birds, I just had to have it. If thickness is an issue in the project that you're working on, Lots of times you can take this and thin it down. You can tear some of the back off and then glue it on. And I like the variety of shapes and sizes in this. That's really neat. If you buy different brands, you're getting different products and different opportunities for creativity. Many of the brands here in the U.S., they do the same thing. They have the stickers, which have the sheen to them, so they don't work very well with glitter pens and different things. And then they have the 12 by 12 cardstock. But if you get into six by six and chipboards and journaling cards and different types of ephemera and you start mixing things up, you just have a great time. This is so thick. I thought it was two pieces of paper. This is Glory of the Garden, blue fern. So it goes with this ephemera pack right here. And I liked the enjoy the view and this is the life. And I thought these would just be really cute cut up. And then this blue one with the bird. And then the back, not too shabby for me either. And then this one, this was from the Chow Bella Cecilia. It's thinner. Blue fern is thicker. I don't know the weights, but blue fern is some thick, nice paper. And you know, I love that it's made in the US. Could be a journal page. It definitely could not be a journal cover. This one could. I picked up one of the decoupage queen papers. These were the ones right by the front door when you first came in, made in Italy. I got it a little crinkly, but that doesn't matter. And here's what I was thinking. I could tear this up and do all sorts of things with it. And that's what I was thinking about when I was looking at them hanging up. They're so big, you could make yourself a whole bunch of neat ephemera pieces with just one section. But there's this whole big part right here that doesn't have the blue or the purple. But what about a journal cover? I think it's just about the right size. Yeah, it would make a nice journal cover. I'm gonna save it for a while and think about it and see what I wanna do with it. Those are my treasures from the Rubber Buggy in Bend, Oregon. Be sure to check it out. And I will put the website and stuff in the description too so you don't have to find it. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to support your local stores and you have a local store. If you think that you don't have a scrapbook store, a creative reuse store, a mixed media store, maybe you should support your art stores or check them out. They might be stocking something. They do not advertise. It's all word of mouth. So be sure you're looking carefully. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.